what is good guys it's your boy otaku j rider here and i am here with the q and a video just like i promised you guys have been giving me your questions i read them and i'm ready to answer and i'm ready to answer for the 1000 subscriber special and before we get to the questions i would like to say from the bottom of my from the bottom of my heart thank you for helping me reach 1000 subscribers i never thought it would be possible that i can actually reach 1000 subscribers but you guys made it possible now that the thanking is done let's get right down to the first question now the first question is from chakra 276 he says how did you come up with your name now when i came up with my name it was a long process right but i'll try to make it short i was a fan of uh ghost rider back when i was a kid and i liked this name jack right so jack is not my actual name but uh i came i watched the movie fell in love with it and i said you know what i'm gonna start calling myself jack rider and I started calling myself Jack Ryder for a long time. Jack wasn't my actual name. It was more like um, a persona, right? So when I made my account, I wrote Jack Ryder. But then I noticed a lot of people were using the name Jack Ryder. So I started tweaking the name. While I was in the tweaking process, I was also subscribed to this channel called uh, uh, Boot Fuji's Bootleg. And the person who was in charge was Otaku Di Furiku, who, 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 has, who was the voice of uh, Slate Goku. But now he's no more the voice of Slate Goku because he died. May so rest in peace. So I liked his name Otaku Di Furiku. So I took that and changed it into Otaku J Rider. The kanji, which it means da, if you've watched uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, the first one. There's a scene when Dio says Kono Dioda. I took that and made it there. I, I wanted to make it special. I didn't want I didn't want it to uh, sound the same like every other Beach vs. Nato name in every other Beach vs. Nato YouTuber because every Beach vs. Nato YouTuber had the had BVN at the end of their names and I didn't want that. I didn't want the word BVN or gaming in my in the name of the channel. Now the second question who is my favorite character in Bleach is Naruto. This is from Vietnam BVN. And uh, my favorite character is. Time Skip Luffy, first version. Time Skip Luffy, first version. I, I loved him. I remember the first time I was using Bleach vs. Naruto, I used him constantly and fell in love with him ever since then. And he's still my favorite. Second one is Dio. Third is, you know, Toma Kamijo. But yeah, that's my favorite. Now, the third question is... Third question is from Grim Reaper 3524. He, 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 it's from two weeks ago. He said, uh, Otaku, you're the real Sene Gaming, right? Are you hiding in Otaku J Rider, your second channel? Now, when I saw this comment, I'm, I, I'm telling you, I laughed. I extremely laughed because somebody thought I was actually who? Zenit Gaming. And I talked to him in the comments that I'm not Zenit Gaming. And he kind of not believed me. So I'm here to tell you today, my friend. I am not Zenit Gaming. I wish I was, but I'm not. I'm not, man. I'm not. Okay. The fourth question. The fourth question was from 11 months ago, from the original uh, announcement for the Q&A. He was like, what uh, what new features, characters, or game mode w you want to see in 4.0? Mine, a story mode and uh, Rangiku or Minako. Honestly, 4.0, what I would want for 4.0 is a, is a watch mode. Uh, watch mode is a very touchy subject but what i would want is for 4.0 to let us add characters in that game i want to add characters so badly in 4.0 you do not even like i want to add so many 
characters in that game. I want to remove characters from that game. I want to mod that game, but I can't do that because the game can't let you. It's as if you can find it on Play Store, but you can't find it on Play Store. But yeah, that 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 is what I would want. I would want to add Bleach versus Naruto. You know, I would want to add. Uh, characters in that mod. I would definitely would want that. Especially if there was a watch mode. Woo! It will be the icing on the cake. The icing on the cake. Now the fifth question. Are you creator BVN character? I think he was trying to say are you a Bleach vs. Naruto author? Do you create characters? Now this fifth question is very important because a lot of people assume that i make characters a lot of people they write down in the comment section saying hey can you make this character hey can you make this character one person even accused me that saying that he i made rimuru but then i think it was vietnam bvn who actually was like he did not then again he made this which is read the description even like when they started talking and that's a problem i think it's the way i make my videos they think that because i think maybe the videos look good to the point where they think that i made it but i'm here to tell you today that i do not know how to make characters i do not know i repeat i do not know period i am a mod author i make mods I make mods. I've made four successful mods. Version uh, Jump Ultimate Star version 1.1, 1.2, and 1.3 will come out. I don't know. 1.3 and, Mo and Mugen version 1. And please versus Demon Slayer. I'm not a mod author. I am not. Sorry. I am not a belief is not an author. I, I don't know how to make them. I, I don't know how to make characters. Now, the sixth, the sixth question is for Karamaru, Karamaru, Ka, 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 Kamaruro, Kamaruro, if I'm saying it correctly, he's, he's, a, I'm a fan of his, he, he's, his maps are amazing, sometimes I even get free maps, <laughs> Sometimes I even get free maps. I like the guy. I do talk to him on Discord. Awesome guy. He has three questions. The first question is, do you have a PC? If so, do you plan to make any mods? That's actually a good question. And as I got my laptop, I got it this year on February. Uh, I started doing, I started making trailers on my laptop instead of my phone. You could see that from the trailers. You can see that from the videos now. And I could I could easily make a mod if I wanted to. I could easily make a mod. But the problem is it's just uploading it is very, very tricky. It's very, very tricky. Uploading onto Mediafire because Mediafire has a tendency of uh, when I upload something, especially if it's big, when I upload it, right? Let's say it, the upload is now at seven, seventeen percent. The upload will start, will decrease all of its, all on its own, and it pisses me off. It'll take me at least two days just to upload the thing. I leave my phone on the whole night while it's uploading, so it takes me forever just to upload. So that's what I am scared of trying to make a mod. That's the reason why I haven't made a PC mod yet. And when it comes to light versions, a lot of people do ask me to make light versions. That's the other reason why I don't want to make a light version because it would be another problem just trying to upload it onto Mediafire because Mediafire is a problem at that point only. And he has three questions, by the way. And his second question is, what do you think about channels that steal? Oh, I don't like them. I, I'm not a fan. Actually, I hate those. I hate the people that steal. They are basically just, they just don't care about the original author's stuff. They just take his stuff. They take their stuff and then just tweak it. And then they pretend it's theirs when it comes to characters, mods, maps, you name it. You name it, bro. You name it. It's not yours. Like, take a uh, to take a uh, what's called the TCM 2.7 and stuff. If I get the app, it's not mine. I just modded it. The mod version is mine, but the original, like the character, but the map, like the game itself, I didn't make that shit. I don't know how to do that. And I will tell you. And I'm honest. And I and I'm telling you right now. I just not a fan of people who do that. 
like the one like Jiren. What he did is just basically took faceless man and then just put a, and reskinned it. And I was not happy with what he did. I was not happy. You you just basically stole something. You just stole somebody's character and you made it yours. We made it yours even though it's not. I, so I'm not a I'm not a fan of that. Extremely not a fan. And his last qu- question is: Don't reskins make you bigger? I I don't know about the reskin stuff. I don't know about the reskin stuff. All I know is that <clears throat> reskinning is <laughs> a thing that a lot of people don't like. I'm not. I'm one of them. Like if you see, like like I just said, Jiren, the way he was made, the faceless man and stuff. I this reskin looked like shit. It was horrible. If you want to reskin somebody, at least make the sprite look sprite look good, you know. So yeah, I I, I don't I cannot go into detail with the with your last question because I don't know exactly how big how to how reskin what kind of reskin you're talking about. Now the seventh question is from Ryan fifty one point six. He says hello. I only have one question. In the future, are you planning on making a BVN mod with best best characters? Yes, yes, I am. I am, and um, the release date. I, yes, yes, I am actually right. I am uh, plan. It'll this mod that I'm releasing will be my last mod. Oh my God. No, God. No, God, please, no, no, no. Of the year, what you, you thought I was gonna be? This will be my last mod permanently. No, 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 no. This will be my last mod for 2023. This will be Jump Ultimate Star version 1.3, and it'll be the last version of that mod. And I wanted, and it will come out in December. If I have to pick out a specific date, I wanted to come out on the 25th or on the 26th. So around then and then uh next year uh jump ultimate stars version 2 will probably come out then so uh yes i am planning on making a mod so stay tuned for that one make sure to check on the community tab because you may never know when i'm starting to make the mod and the last question the eighth question goes is from Weird Gamer 6274. Now, if if you do not know me and Weird Mugen, aka David, we are close. We are tight. Like, tight. We talk on Discord and we talk on WhatsApp. We push each other to be better, but now he has been busy with school, so he stopped posting stuff. I would I would uh, encourage him to get back, but then he said he cannot do it because he quit, which was not so, but I do support him regardless. <coughs> His question is, how did the grind feel? Tough, bro. It's, grinding is, grinding is rough. It, 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 it is rough. Um, I almost quit. I almost quit. I get a lot, there are times I almost quit, bro, because it was hard just trying to make maintain you know my views my subscribers the likes the comments it was just rough there were times where a video would do amazing right and then there are times where the video would just do horribly and if a video does horribly i just like get the rest but then there are friends of i do have one friend i told one friend right and he was like, bro, just keep on pushing, you get there. And David, and David, weird gamer, knows about, knows about this. He knows about the struggles of, you know, uploading something. You, like, you edit the thing, like, so much. And then a lot of people just don't watch it for that. They don't watch it all the way to the end. He knows about it. That's the other reason why he, you know, he left. Bleach visit now, Twitch started doing other things. You know, but I, I stayed. I wanted to push. I wanted to stick around for Bleach vs. Naruto. I said, I'm not giving up on Bleach vs. Naruto, you know. And I know how he feels, man. Like, especially, it's like the same thing with my AMVs. 
I used to make a lot of AMVs, but then I stopped because it was because it was not a burnout. I got tired. I would constantly make I would I would constantly make my AMVs all the time, and I stopped. So here's my advice: when you're grinding, don't make videos you hate. Trust me. That is another way to burn out. It, it, it's burnout. That's a burnout. So my advice is never make something you hate. And, um, you know, always upload a lot of stuff. Always upload a lot of stuff. Take a break, but not a, not a long break, like a week or a month. That kills your channel instantly. Dead. So I advise you, if you want to take a break, cool, take two days off or something. That's great. If you take a day, a day or two off YouTube, that's that's great. But if you take a week or a month, that's killing your views. That's killing your channel. That's killing uh, everything. Because you will fail. You will fail. So my advice is just keep on pushing. And don't make stuff that you hate. Because if you make stuff that you hate, you will you will st you will start hating the videos that you make. That you you start hating videos that you love. You start hating your own channel. You start hating everything, and then you're done. So grinding can be can be good, can be bad. But if you keep on pushing, you will get there. So yeah, that's about it. I've answered all the questions I have been given. And if you have reached this part of the video, thank you so much. Do make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let's keep on pushing all the way up to one to ten thousand. Yeah, that is my next goal. Always have a goal when you're when you're doing YouTube. Like whether you're small or big, have a goal. Have a goal. And my next goal is ten k. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Once again, thank you for. 1,000 subscribers, this is your boy Otaku J. Rada, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.